Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to um, be talking about what factors contribute to a star's brightness. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to be talking about what factors contribute to a star's brightness. So, the main three factors that contribute to a star's brightness is the distance, how far away the star is, the temperature, and the size. So, I'm going to I'm going to be talking about the three main factors of how our brightness starts. So, like you see here, this image here, you can see that actually the blue stars that appear that are the color blue are actually the hottest and hottest stars in the youngest stars. While youngest stars are up here, older stars are down here, and red stars and yellow stars are really cold, actually, like cold stars. And then a star's brightness is also determined by its temperature. Like you see here, the larger, the larger of the two stars with the same temperature, the same distance is brighter. So, we're going to look at this one second. Right. So, a life cycle of a star. First, there was a several nuclei. So, if it takes an average star path, it would become a red giant. Then it would become a planetary nuclear, which would be, then it would become a white dwarf. If the solar nuclear took the massive star, it would go to massive star, then to red supergiant, then it would go to supernova, and then it would go to a black hole or a neutral star. So, for example, if this was our solar nova and it took the average star path, it would go to this. Then it would take the red giant path. Then it would take the planetary nuba plant. And then it would become a white dwarf. If it took the massive star, so our thing would be. Um, so, so then it gets a massive star. Then red supergiant. Then supernova. Then it would go to a black hole. And then it would go to a. Uh, it go to a uh, neutral star. And then here are a couple videos you can watch. Um, so the big idea of this lesson is that the apparent brightness of the sun and stars is due to their relative distance from Earth. There are different kinds of stars in our universe, and they have different life cycles, which is explained here. Um, so, here's another one of these. That you can see there. Oh, here. This one's really good. So, a cell on Earth would go to blue. Then it would go to like a blue super giant, actually, to supernova. It would go. Or it would go to a blue super giant to a black hole. Or it would go to a blue super giant to type 2 supernova to a black hole, or it would go to a blue supergiant, to a red giant, to a blue giant, to a type 2 supernova, to a neutral star, or it would go to a sun-like star, to a red giant, to a planetary nuclea, to a white dwarf, which would go to a type 1A supernova, or it would go to a red dwarf, to a red dwarf, to a white dwarf, or I'd go to a brown dwarf, to a brown dwarf dust.
temperature. So a large, larger and two stars at the same temperature. So yellow dwarf stars. Their lifetime is about four to seventeen billion years old. Orange dwarf stars is seventeen to seventy-three billion years old. Seventy-three to five hundred fifty-five thousand, five hundred five thousand five hundred fifty million years old. Brown dwarf, uh, their lifetime is unknown. Their lifetime is unknown. Um, blue supergiant stars, their lifetime is three to four thousand million years old. A red giant stars, their lifetime is point one to two billion years old. Not as much. Well, that's long. So, um, three to a hundred million years old is red supergiant. What dwarfs live to ten to the fifteenth power to ten to the twenty fifth power? Well, years long. Um, black dwarfs are unknown, and neutral stars are unknown how long. So, if this was the Earth, sorry, if this was the Earth, and this, let's say this was a star, okay? Its brightness to us would depend how how long how long it is. So its brightness would be could be like this. It would look like this to us, but it's actually like this, ten times ten times closer. You can't really see it, but like ten times closer. It's actually way closer, but it depends how bright we see it by the um, how far away it is. And then the blue, st the stars that are blue, are actually very, very, very hot. So they shine, and they they shine. They have lots of shine on it. So it's like to us, it seems like it's like this. Practically. It's like that much. And they're very hot. Then the ones. The red stars. So the red star, the red ones, are actually very cold and they're not very. It's just like that. It's not very bright. It doesn't shine much. So. The star's brightness is determined by its distance, the star's brightness is determined by its temperature, and by its size. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.